Lee Radzivill, born Caroline Lee Bouvier on March 3, 1933, was an American socialite, actress, and interior decorator. She was the younger sister of Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, the wife of President John F. Kennedy. Radzivill became a prominent figure in high society, known for her elegance, style, and association with influential personalities. Lee Radziwill passed away on February 15, 2019, leaving behind a legacy of sophistication and cultural influence. Born into the prominent Bouvier family, Lee grew up in a world of privilege and refinement. Her father, John Verneau Bouvier III, was a successful stockbroker, and her mother, Janet Norton Lee, came from a family of social distinction. This early exposure to a world of wealth and culture laid the foundation for Radziwill's future as a tastemaker and style icon. Beyond her public persona, Lee Radziwill had a successful career as an interior decorator. Her impeccable taste in design and decoration was evident in her own homes, as well as in projects she undertook for others. Radziwill's approach to interior design was marked by a harmonious blend of classic and contemporary elements, creating spaces that were both timeless and inviting. One of Lee Radziwill's notable residences was her townhouse in New York City. Located on East 72nd Street, this elegant and tastefully decorated home was a reflection of her refined taste. Radziwill was known for her ability to blend classic and contemporary styles seamlessly. The interiors of her townhouse were adorned with luxurious fabrics, fine art and antiques, creating a timeless and inviting atmosphere. Radziwill also owned a stunning property in London's prestigious Belgravia neighborhood. The residence boasted traditional British architecture with modern interior elements. Lee Radziwill's London home showcased her appreciation for European elegance and sophistication. The interiors were adorned with sumptuous fabrics, classic furnishings, and carefully curated art pieces. After spending 18 years in England, residing in a Belgravia house celebrated for its oriental opulence in decor and a country retreat reminiscent of a vibrant, flower-filled sanctuary. Lee Radziwill has returned to a city she has always held dear. Radziwill's life was characterized by a jet-setting lifestyle that spanned continents. From her residences in New York City and London to properties on the French Riviera and beyond, she embraced a cosmopolitan worldview her homes reflected not only her appreciation for different cultures, but also her ability to create environments that transcended geographical boundaries. New York City Townhouse Lee Radziwill's townhouse on East 72nd Street in Manhattan was a quintessential example of her design sensibilities. The interiors were characterized by a blend of classic elegance and modern comfort, rich fabrics, Antique furniture and carefully curated art adorned the living spaces. Radziwill's New York City home became a social hub, hosting gatherings that brought together influential figures from the worlds of art, literature, and society. In Happy Times, Lee writes, Jackie moved to New York in 1964, and Robert Kennedy persuaded stars who hated the city to buy an apartment there so I could be near her at least part of the year. Stars didn't like the idea at all, and no one except Bobby could possibly have talked him into it. Although I had two of the prettiest houses in England, I wanted my children to feel closer to New York and to their cousins, and I wanted to be near Jackie and spend more time there. It was where I was happiest. The rhythm was different then. Life was more gentle. London residents. In London's upscale Belgravia neighborhood, Radziwill owned a property that showcased her appreciation for European sophistication. 
the residence featured traditional British architecture with Radziwill's personal touch evident in the interior decor. The London home served as a stylish retreat, reflecting both her transatlantic lifestyle and her love for the cultural richness of European cities. Country House in Sussex Radziwill's charming country house in Sussex, England, provided a contrast to her urban residences. Surrounded by picturesque landscapes, the Sussex property embraced classic English countryside aesthetics. The interiors featured a combination of rustic elements and Radziwill's curated collection of furnishings, creating a warm and inviting retreat. French Riviera Properties Lee Radziwill had a strong connection to the French Riviera, known for its glamorous lifestyle. Her properties in locations like Cap Ferrat exemplified the Mediterranean influence. Open-air terraces, sun-drenched rooms, and a seamless integration of indoor and outdoor living characterized these homes, reflecting the allure of the south of France. Pied-à-terre in Paris. Paris, the epitome of timeless elegance, was another city where Radziville maintained a residence. Her pied-à-terre in the French capital showcased a mix of Parisian chic and Radziville's own cosmopolitan style. The interiors were characterized by a sophisticated simplicity, incorporating elements of French design with her own personal touches. Over the years, Lee Radziwill's homes underwent transformations that reflected her evolving tastes. While maintaining her commitment to classic design principles, Radziwill also embraced more contemporary aesthetics in her later residences. This adaptability showcased her ability to blend timeless elegance with a modern sensibility. Radziwill was often photographed at home providing glimpses into her elegant living spaces. These images not only showcased her homes, but also became iconic representations of a sophisticated and aspirational lifestyle. Radziwill's impact on the design world went beyond the physicality of her residences. It permeated into her role as a style ambassador. She collaborated with renowned fashion designers and was often seen front row at fashion shows maintaining a close connection between the worlds of fashion and interior design. Her fashion-forward sensibilities influenced not only what adorned her homes, but also how she presented herself to the world. Radziwill's residences also reflected her personal journey and passions. For instance, her interest in literature was evident in the libraries and reading nooks that adorned her homes. Books were not just decorative elements, but integral components of her living spaces, emphasizing the intellectual depth behind the glamorous facade. As a trendsetter, Radziwill's homes were often ahead of their time. Elements of her design choices, from color palettes to furniture selections, have continued to inspire contemporary interior designers. The enduring appeal of her style is a testament to the timeless quality of her design philosophy. Lee Radziwill's legacy extends beyond her famous family connections. Her impact on the worlds of fashion, interior design, and high society endures as a symbol of timeless elegance. Radziwill's life and style continue to influence those who admire her ability to navigate the complexities of public life while maintaining an air of grace and sophistication after taking a look at Lee Radziwill's houses, what are your thoughts? Is her home as spectacular as you thought it would be? Would you like to visit this apartment? Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. See you in the next video.